As you enter the realm of Scandinavian mythology, a world of mystery and wonder unfolds before you. Join us on a journey through misty mountains and snow-covered landscapes, as we discover the enduring beauty and timeless magic of Norse mythology. Odin, the All-Father, the most powerful of the gods, the ruler of Asgard, the master of war, death, and poetry. He is the husband of Frigg, the father of many other gods, including Thor and Baldr. Odin is the god of many things. He is the god of war and battle, and the leader of the Valkyries, who choose the bravest warriors to fight alongside him in the final battle, Ragnarok. He is the god of wisdom, and his thirst for knowledge is insatiable. He sacrificed one of his eyes to gain the wisdom of the runes, and he hung himself from the world tree, Yggdrasil, for nine days and nine nights to gain the knowledge of the dead. Odin is a complex figure, and his actions are not always straightforward. He is known for his cunning and trickery, and he is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. He is not above lying or manipulating others, but he is also capable of great compassion and sacrifice. Thor, the god of thunder and one of the most beloved deities of Norse mythology. Thor, son of Odin, is the protector of the people, the defender against the forces of chaos and destruction. He wields his mighty hammer, Mjolnir, with great strength and skill, and it is said that the thunder we hear during a storm is the sound of him striking his hammer upon the anvil of the sky. In addition to his physical prowess, Thor is also known for his courage, loyalty, and fierce determination. He is a friend to all who uphold the principles of justice and honor, and he is quick to act when he sees injustice or wrongdoing. Freya, the goddess of love, fertility, and war, is a complex and intriguing figure in Norse mythology. Her story is one of both passion and power, beauty and strength. One of the most interesting aspects of Freya's story is her association with magic and sorcery. She is said to possess a necklace called Brisingamon, which gives her great power and control over magic. Despite her reputation as a powerful and commanding figure, Freya is also a goddess of beauty and sensuality. She is said to have golden hair and sparkling eyes, and her beauty is said to be unmatched in all the nine worlds. Her presence is said to inspire desire and passion in all who behold her, and it is said that she has a particular affinity for romantic love and sexual desire. In addition to her beauty and power, Freya is also a symbol of independence and strength for women. Loki, the trickster god of Norse mythology. Loki is a complex and enigmatic figure, known for his wit, cunning, and mischievous nature. He is a shapeshifter, able to take on the form of any creature he chooses. Loki is known for his quick wit and cleverness, and his ability to outsmart even the most powerful gods and goddesses. He is a mischievous troublemaker, causing chaos and confusion wherever he goes. Loki is also a symbol of creativity and innovation. He is said to have helped the gods on many occasions, using his cunning and wit to find solutions to seemingly impossible problems. He is also a symbol of change and transformation, always pushing the boundaries of what is possible and breaking down barriers between worlds. Tyr, the god of war and justice. His story is one of bravery and sacrifice, of honor and duty. Tyr is known for his bravery and fearlessness in battle. He is also known for his unwavering sense of justice, and he is always willing to do what is right, no matter the cost. Despite his strength and power, Tyr's story is also one of sacrifice. In order to bind the monstrous wolf Fenrir, Tyr offers his own hand as a pledge of good faith. Tyr is also known for his role as a peacemaker, and he is often called upon to settle disputes and restore order in times of chaos. He is a symbol of balance and fairness, and his wisdom and sense of justice are admired by all who know him. Baldur, the god of light and purity. He is known for his beauty and radiance, and his presence brings light and joy to all who are near him. He is beloved by all of the gods and goddesses, who see him as a symbol of purity and goodness. Despite his popularity, Baldur's story is also one of tragedy. He is fated to die at the hands of his own brother, Hodr, who is tricked into shooting an arrow made of mistletoe at him. However, Baldur's story is also one of sacrifice and rebirth. After his death, 
he descends into the underworld, where he becomes a symbol of hope and redemption. He is eventually reborn and returns to the world of the living, bringing with him a renewed sense of light and purity. Heimdall, the god of light and the guardian of the Bifrost Bridge. It is a rainbow bridge that connects Asgard, the realm of the gods, with Midgard, the realm of humans. Heimdall is known for his acute senses, and he is said to be able to hear the grass growing and the wool growing on the backs of sheep. He is also said to be able to see great distances, even in the dark of night. Despite his importance, Heimdall is often quite lonely, keeping watch over the bridge and the world beyond. He is a symbol of vigilance and watchfulness, always alert for any signs of danger. He is also a symbol of strength and endurance, able to withstand even the most powerful of foes. Hel, the goddess of death and the ruler of the underworld, is one of the most mysterious and feared figures in Norse mythology. Her story is one of darkness and despair, of decay and rebirth. She rules over the realm of the dead, known as Helheim, where the souls of the deceased are sent to rest and await judgment. Despite her fearsome reputation, Hel is not an evil figure. She is simply the embodiment of the natural cycle of life and death, and her realm is a necessary part of that cycle. In Norse mythology, death is not seen as something to be feared or avoided, but rather as a natural part of the journey of life. Njord, the god of the sea, wind, and prosperity. He is known for his ability to calm the sea and control the winds, making him a vital figure for seafarers and fishermen. Njord is known for his control over the seas and the winds. He is a powerful figure who can calm the stormiest of waters. He is also associated with fishing, and is said to be able to provide abundant catches for those who seek his favor. Njord is also associated with prosperity and wealth, and is often invoked by those seeking financial success or abundance. He is also known for his ability to adapt to new surroundings, and is often associated with travel and exploration. Skadi, the goddess of winter and the hunt, is a figure of great strength and independence in Norse mythology. Skadi is known for her love of the mountains and the hunt, she is a fierce warrior, skilled in the use of the bow and arrow. She is also associated with winter and the snow, and is said to be able to endure even the harshest of conditions. Despite her reputation as a fierce warrior, Skadi is also a figure of great beauty and grace. She has a regal figure, with a proud bearing and a commanding presence. Skadi's story is also one of compromise and reconciliation. She is known for her marriage to the god Njord, which united the realms of the sea and the mountains. Their story is one of mutual respect and understanding, as they learn to adapt to each other's worlds and find common ground. Freyr, the god of fertility, prosperity, and peace. He is known for his control over fertility and prosperity, and is often associated with the earth and agriculture. He brings abundance and good fortune to those who honor him, and is also associated with love, joy, and peace. Despite his reputation as a god of peace, Freyr is also a powerful warrior when necessary. Sif is a goddess of fertility, harvest, and agriculture and wife of Thor. She is also associated with the earth itself, and is said to be able to control and manipulate the natural world around her. Sif is known for her golden hair, which is said to represent the fields of wheat and barley, and for her role as a fertility goddess, responsible for ensuring the abundance of the harvest. Bragi, the god of poetry, music, and eloquence, is a figure of great inspiration and creativity. Bragi is known for his skill as a poet and musician, and is often associated with the power of language and the arts. Despite his reputation as a figure of creativity and inspiration, Bragi is also a symbol of wisdom and learning. He is known for his great knowledge and understanding of the world, and is often depicted as a sage and a mentor. He is a symbol of the creative spirit, of the beauty and wonder that can be found in the world around us, and his story continues to inspire and captivate people to this day. Aiden, the goddess of youth and rejuvenation and wife of Bragi. She is known for her control over youth and vitality, and is often associated with the power of nature. She is said to bring youth and renewal to those who honor her, and is also associated with beauty, health, and fertility. 
Aiden is known for her control over the magical golden apples, which have the power to restore youth and vitality to those who partake of them. She is also associated with the cycles of nature, and is said to be able to bring new life and renewal to the world around her. For Seti, the god of justice and reconciliation, his story is one of fairness and balance, of the power of wisdom and the importance of peaceful resolution. Persetti is known for his role as a mediator and judge, responsible for ensuring that disputes are resolved fairly and equitably. He is also associated with the concepts of order and harmony, and is said to be able to restore balance to even the most chaotic and tumultuous situations. Frigg, the goddess of love, fertility, and marriage and Odin's wife. She is known for her wisdom and her ability to see the future, as well as her unwavering devotion to her husband Odin. Frigg is often depicted as a kind and loving figure, who is fiercely protective of her family and those she cares about. She is also associated with the home and domestic life, and is said to have the power to bless marriages and ensure the happiness and prosperity of families. Frigg is known for her ability to see into the hearts of men and women, to understand their deepest desires and motivations, and to offer guidance and support in times of need. Jord is a goddess in Norse mythology who is associated with the earth and fertility. Her name means birth in Old Norse, and she is considered to be the mother of Thor, the god of thunder. As a goddess of fertility, Jord is revered for her ability to bring new life into the world, and is often invoked in fertility rites and rituals. She is also associated with the land and the harvest, and is seen as a protector of those who work the land and rely on it for their livelihood. Uller is a god who is associated with hunting, archery, and skiing. He is known for his incredible speed and agility, as well as his mastery of the bow and arrow. Uller is a powerful and skilled warrior, with a deep connection to the natural world. He is associated with the winter season, and is seen as a protector of those who venture out into the wilderness to hunt or explore. He is often invoked by hunters and archers, who seek his guidance and protection on their journeys. Vidar is a god of vengeance and retribution. He is known for his incredible strength and resilience, as well as his unwavering dedication to justice. He is associated with the concept of silent vengeance, and is seen as a protector of those who have been wronged or betrayed. As a god of vengeance, Vidar is revered for his unwavering commitment to justice and his ability to protect the innocent. He is often invoked by those who have been wronged or betrayed, who seek his guidance and protection as they seek to right the wrongs that have been done to them.